Two injured teens from the Times Square rampage are high school students in Dunellen, Middlesex County. 19 year old Jessica Williams critically injured, and teenage classmate Destiny Lightfoot home from the hospital with broken bones and other injuries. We're a small town, and out of anyone in Times Square, we didn't think that our friends or our classmates would have gotten hit by that car. And we were all just like shocked. The two students were away from this high school and in Times Square because it was class skip day for seniors. We were told by the family of Lightfoot who lives on this Dunellen street that she is not ready to talk. About it publicly. No comments from relatives of Williams, who suffered the far more serious injuries and just pulled through an operation that removed her spleen. I pray that she will, you know, be recover 100%. That's Joseph DeNuzo, Williams' boss at a pizza restaurant in Fairfield where she works part time. You know, eventually she'll be okay. Many in this town where the tragedy hits home are puzzled by the words of suspect Richard Rojas in the New York Post. In the exclusive Rikers Island jailhouse interview, Rojas told the Post he has a gap in his memory. Quote, the last thing I remember is driving in my car, then I woke up in the precinct. I was terrified. I think it's just him trying to cope with what he did. It's just messed up. To see this guy talking in a jailhouse interview and saying these things, what do you think? Um, honestly, I just think he should be put in jail for life, to be honest. Rojas is charged with second-degree murder, 20 counts of second-degree attempted murder, and five counts of aggravated vehicular homicide. Rojas told the Post, I just want to apologize to all the victims' families. I want to apologize to my mom. But in this tight-knit place in another state, residents don't want to focus on him. Not when two hometown students so desperately need support. In Dunellen, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, TV 1055. And if you'd like to help the victims, there are two separate GoFundMe